Hi, this is Mark Morell from Toon Barn, and we're here at New York Comic Con 2013. And I'm here with Jay Oliva, and he's the director of Justice League War. Uh, hi, everybody. Nice to meet you, and see you. Uh, hopefully, check out the film. Yeah. All right. So you worked with like a different cast of voice actors each time you do each of these films, right? Yes. But is the production crew the same throughout each of these movies? Uh, for the most part, we have a rotating crew. Uh, I have my own crew, and sometimes uh, if another director opens up like from one of our other series, he'll come in and just help out as a, as a guest artist, which is always great. Um, but we always try to rotate in. Uh, we have a, a core group, but then every now and then we get some guest, guest artists that come in and help us out. Okay, and who's your go-to guy? Is like the the one that you would want in in any movie that you've ever been in? Um, I there's like two of them. Like uh, you know, Lauren Montgomery is uh, she was a director for uh, all these DTVs in the past, and you know, I, whenever I need somebody, I give her a call and I'm like, hey, can you help me out on this? And so I usually have her help me out. And also Sam Liu, who's also another director who was on like Beware of Batman and all the films that you know I've done in the past, and I always try to get those guys because when I have directors helping me out, and it makes my job a lot easier. Right. So um, the last time we talked in San Diego, uh, you were talking about how you thought it would be really cool if you just had like a Deathstroke movie with Ron Perlman where you could just oh, yeah. let him loose. Oh, yeah. That, that's one of the things that I'd really want to do is, uh, you know, whenever you have Ron Perlman in anything, you just want to do something cool. So, you know, hopefully they'll do something with Deathstroke. I mean, with the new Arkham Origins game where he's kind of like one of the lead characters, hopefully that'll sell well and maybe, you know, let the powers be that like, hey, Deathstroke can have his own film. And I think that'd be fantastic. So does that mean you're not going to get your wish? Have you pushed for this at all? You know, I mean, uh, from the films that I'm working on so far and what I've, we've got on the slate, um, I haven't seen anything yet of Deathstroke, so we'll see. Okay. Yeah. Which characters that, that you got to work with in the new 52 um, are you um, most happy with that, that you think you did the best job on? You know, honestly, I think my favorite is Wonder Woman. Like when you see uh, Justice League War and you see what we did with Wonder Woman, we we had a lot of fun with her, and it, it, she was probably had the best animated sequences in, in the film. And and I could tell the animators and and even the the storyboard artists who did the fight choreography for her, they had a lot of fun because she does some great great stuff. You think you hit the nail on the head on that one? I, I think so. I mean, she's a little different than what most people uh, will expect from Wonder Woman, but because it's the new Fifty Two version, it's something new. Uh, it's it's a new kind of fresh take on it. And also, I'm, whenever I do these films, I always think to myself, if they're ever going to make a live action version of this, you know, let me try to, you know, uh, set the standard of what, what they can go for it, you know. So you would want people saying, oh, that, that, that Wonder Woman that Jay Oliva worked with, that's the one I want. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, with Flashpoint, that was what my whole idea was for uh, for Barry and uh, and the Flash was that, you know, if Barry ever had his own live action film, let's just do it. Let's just do something really cool and and kind of show like, hey, Barry, uh, Fla the Flash can carry a film by himself. You know. Okay, so we we saw the audience's reactions when we watched the Flashpoint paradox when we were in in San Diego, and and we knew what the story was like beforehand. Yeah. So when we when we saw those audience reactions, shock and awe and all that kind of stuff, and and they they couldn't believe what they were seeing. Is, are audiences going to get a similar reaction like that to this film? Uh, this one is a little different. I mean, it's not as dark or grim. It's actually a little bit more on the fun side, but it is. It's a big action. You know, epic from beginning to end. So there are going to be some great moments for the fans, but for the most part, it's going to be a lot of cheering. It's not going to be a lot of like, you know, what we had was sort of very some heavy emotions on the last one. This one's a little bit more lighter. So for those of people who uh, kind of wanted something a little bit more uplifting, this one's a little bit more uplif uplifting story because it's it's their origin. It's when they all meet, and there's some funny moments, there's some comedic stuff, but there's also some really great balls to the wall action that I, I really try to push on this on the New Fifty Two stuff. All right, which which characters get along the best? Uh, who who gets along the best? I would say because Batman, Superman never get along. Yeah, never get along. So you actually get to see some good interaction between Wonder Woman and Superman and uh, in Cyborg versus Sh and Shazam. They they have some good stuff. There are some great uh, uh, Green Lanterns on here. There's some great kind of interaction between uh, Batman and Green Lantern, which is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on Toon Barn. Thanks again for having me. Uh, I'll see you guys next year, hopefully for San Diego or something. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys.